Hi everyone, it's February 10th. So I'm going to give you an update on some of my wood projects. It's been snowing yucky here in Northeast PA. So I built this little birdhouse out of cedar. This little peg opens up the bottom so you can hinge it out and clean it. Because I clean them every year. It's made out of cedar. Some scrap cedar I had from my ring gutter project up at the cabin. But it's a nice little house. I have one in, in the front yard of my oak tree. And I had a family in it last year. They had a brood. So I'm sure I'm going to put another one up in the other oak. I have three oaks. Uh, put this one up on the far side, give them some space, and should have another family in there. Look having the birds around. The second project was a little bit more involved. What's fun though, this is a medicine cabinet for my cabin, made out of a recycled pallet. Uh, we get parts shipped, and this is a pallet that a thing of, I think washer fluid came on it. So I, this one I like because it has a lot of bark still on it. So I, and I cut it down, and I use it to make a medicine cabinet. Nice, some nice touches. Let me show you some of the touches first. The poles are made out of sticks. Those are joints, branch joints. Then I whittled down. And I put uh, a sli two sliding drawers. That'll be for our bigger stuff. Then down below, first aid kit and everything else. Again, there's that bark. It's really a nice look. It gives it a real rustic look. And I, I used birch as an overlay on those panels to stay with that cabin theme. And you can see the. The pallet wood is a little rough. It's got holes in it, and it's not perfect. But for a cabin, a rustic medicine cabin, it certainly works fine. And it has nice, nice room both sides. Slide open. It's on a sliding track. And then I, I had a mirror made. Cost about 18 bucks. And there's a magnet that holds that shut. But it's a, it's a nice full size. It's wide open. If I need to, I'll add a shelf. For now, I'm gonna leave it full like that. Maybe we'll hang some stuff in the top, keys and things like that. But I just finished it in a tongue oil, and I think it came out really nice. The coolest project that I did this winter, I just finished it yesterday, was this bench that everything's sitting on. And it's a, a rustic uh, two-seater. Actually supports two large people. It's just made out of tree limbs, unprocessed tree limbs uh, that I cut the length. And then using that silver bell ship, it's called a tenon cutter. You can see I, I, I cut tenons in them, and you can see on that one, it's uh, one I goofed on. It has some holes in the top, I'll show you in a second. But that's how I made the, the bench, and I really like the way it looks. Uh, I think we're going to put it on my front porch with some flowers on it. Uh, either that or I'm going to take it to my cabin. Okay, close up, so different size branches are about two and a half inches. And I, I just Googled how to build a bench. <laughs> You could see, you know, I made a mistake. I had to plug that, but it came out rather nice. I used different size. You know, the ones on top are one and a half inches. These are all two and a half and three. And then the one on the bottom, that stretcher is another one and one and a half, more like a one. It gave us some proportion, but I think it really came out nice. And it was very sturdy. It was like a rock. It was actually hard to put together. I had to use a mallet to to make the parts fit. Make the parts fit. <laughs> Give me a peek at the back. Cross braced it so the stretcher in the bottom will keep between that and the V, the diamonds will keep it from collapsing side to side. They call that racking, anti racking. But I think it came out really nice. And you can see the, the wood's very rough. I didn't finish it at all. I'm not going to. I'm going to give it, leave it that natural, natural look. And here's how to make it. You have this tenon cutter with a knife that shaves it down and gives you that one inch tenon. There's different size tenons. This is, this is a one inch. And then you can see you just use an arbor bit and you drill the holes. And then that fits in there rather snugly. Like I said, you typically have to use a mallet to mag them in there. So once they're done, if you put a little bit of glue on there, they're not going anywhere. And it's actually quite a challenge to put them together. This is the vise I use. I use a, just a, a rag to keep the vise from chewing up the the wood, the bark, because I like the bark. I want to keep the bark as clean as, as I can. Um, I do this in my garage. There's my kerosene heater with my coffee cup on top. Sunday morning early. It's nice and toasty in here. It's probably about 60 with that little heater. Great thing to have a uh, good backup for emergency, too. Uh, I usually keep kerosene because, I, like I said, I work in the winter. I don't watch TV. Uh, I'll read once in a bit, but if I do, I'm reading how to make stuff like that. It was a lot of fun. Have a great winter. This is what I do to keep sane.